Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another houseplant rescue story and I'm so happy to share it with you. It just just happened a couple hours ago so I still feel that wipe. I still feel you know that rescue blood pumping through my veins so I think this video will be so much fun to share because today me and Rocky rescued a houseplant. What do you think? Today me and baby Rocky are matching sweaters. This is the one that I knitted myself, so it's, you know, just little tiny, like, turtleneck. <laughs> Isn't that amazing and cute? So cute, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. But anyway, so today I want to share the story of a houseplant that I rescued a couple hours ago. So while we were walking with my Rocky, we were walking for over two hours through all of our neighborhood so it was a pretty long walk and we did not found anything you know we just were hanging out chatting and just you know exploring the neighborhood but when i was on my way home and it was maybe maybe seven minutes left till i will be back home when i noticed a plant laying just next to the garbage container and during that time, a homeless man actually was searching for something in those garbage containers, you know, inside. So I did not want to go there, you know, and disturb him doing his business. So I waited with Rocky patiently until this homeless man will go away, you know, and just mind his own business. And then I came closely to this plant that was laying on the sidewalk. And it was so beautiful guys i was so surprised actually during that time while it was laying on the side it was without a pot and all of the roots were naked should we call naked because the doves were actually going through all of the soil so it was kind of messy in there but the plant itself the foliage of you know the leaves were so healthy so you actually can see this plant over here it's not potted up i just put it in the spot so it can stay straight you know and do not fall on the ground but if you look close enough i actually inspected this house plant it doesn't have any pests any bugs anything wrong that i could see on this plant so i'm really curious why somebody decided to throw it away because it is such a big and lush and beautiful peace lily guys i actually do not know the exact variety of this peace lily because there are you know a bunch of them but this one is very tall very big and beautiful do you see that i love how healthy it is it actually has a couple blooms but these blooms are on the way out so i might just cut them off and i mean there are even some leaves on the way that are pretty new so i am so happy about this houseplant rescue i was so surprised when i saw it actually i was filming you know the footage of me and rocky just going there and checking on this plant and i, I was not even speaking to the camera because i was so shy because this homeless man was still not that far away from us you know so it feels kind of weird, weird, you know, even the homeless man is searching through the garbage containers, then I came in, you know, <laughs> but I'm not digging into how the garbage containers. I just grabbed the plant that was laying next to it and went straight back home. When I went home, it was kind of hilarious you, I think, because it did not have any pot. So, you know, the beer roots were just swinging in the middle of the air. So it was kind of a struggle, but at the same time, it was so easy to take it home. So right now what I'm going to do, I will actually put it up in this pot that I already already prepared and then I will spray it with neem oil just in case I mean I might do this right now before potting this plant right but then it will be so messy to pot it the neem oil will be everywhere on the ground then the ground gonna be so slippery I can fall and break my leg so I don't want to do that <laughs> so what we're gonna do we're gonna pot this plant up then i'm gonna show you even more up close this plant you know just we will appreciate the gorgeousness of it actually i'm thinking about taking it to my office because it looks fancy means i chose the pot that is you know black and classic looking there is some paint on it i need to wash it <laughs> but all in all i think this will look awesome in my office but there is a big problem with that because this Friday was probably my last time in the office for a while because once again we have extreme situation in Vilnius, in Lithuania as well, in whole country. So because of the COVID, so I'm not sure when I'm going to be back in the office, but whenever I am, I might bring this baby back. So enough 
mumbling. It's been already too long, right? I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> but let's plant this baby up. And then I also might plant this cactus from my previous video because it really needs to be reported. And I know that I just got it a couple days ago, but you know what? It really needs to be reported. So we're going to do that as well. I actually have pretty cute pot for it. Huh? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Actually, we can start with that because it's so, so small. And then we will go to the big boy, big guy. Maybe any one of you know the name of the Spotify album because I know there are at least 10 varieties of Spotify albums that I am aware of. And I'm pretty sure there are even more of them. So I'm really curious to know, you know, because the foliage on this one is kind of a little bit darker and it's it has really long stems it looks like it was so so happy in somebody's home so i still don't understand why it was thrown away no idea guys no idea but i'm once again not complaining <laughs> okay so i have some uh, ficus mix i think it will be perfect for a, a peace lily and for cactus i filled I will mix it with some perlite so it will be perfect, you know? <laughs> okay, that's intense. Let me put it a little bit lower. Okay, so I have this pot. This is actually a pot that my sister found somewhere outside as well, that it was thrown away. You know, in perfect scenario, I would want it to, you know, clean and wash, but I did not have the time to do it before filming this video. And while I was preparing for filming, I just noticed this cactus and I was like, okay, I'm potting it. So I might wash, you know, the outside of the pot after potting it up, but I think it will be okay. There, there are no bugs. It was staying in my balcony for over a week. So I'm pretty sure it's all right. Okay, so I added some soil. Do you see it? A little bit, okay. I think a little bit will be enough. I'm sorry, my hair is still wet because I just took the shower and went straight to the makeup and filming because I was so excited. Okay, oh wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, some roots broke off. So really root bound really ready to be potted up like so oh it's gonna be gorgeous I'm so excited okay wow this looks perfect i love how not even the spot is not really evenly shaped but this looks perfect for this cactus it looks like i bought this cactus special especially for the spot ah oh, so cute i think this is a really good start for the video Let's put it aside, but still so you can cheat over here. Okay, so right now let's go to the main business of the day, of an hour to the start of an hour, right? But, okay, how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna do that? Okay, well, this probably will be smart to put a little bit more further away. I'm sure if I accidentally will cut off my head of the shot, but Today the star of the show is this piece, Lily. Guys, look at this root system. It's so clean. The roots are not rotten or anything. It's just perfect. It's just so, so perfect. Juicy, healthy, white. So the main question, what in the world was going on through the last owner of this piece, Lily? Still, you know, doesn't give me any rest for the brain. gonna need to clean this room again <laughs> dang it I really am trying not to make too much mess but it's just not this is not working out for me never ever in my life can I make e-reporting without a mess <laughs> I know lots of you are saying Svetlana you need e tarp but I cannot find anywhere okay <laughs> so anywho okay let's plan this baby up so let's play the game that we started on this channel and it is why do you think somebody threw away such a gorgeous plant and would you rescue it? I mean look at it, it's gorgeous and ready to have a new home in my opinion. But the main question is 
why? Why in the world somebody would do that and get rid of such a beautiful and healthy plant? This is just, it just blows my mind, okay? At the same time, I'm really happy, but like, what in the world is going on? Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. And you know what? The best part that this plant was for free. Huh? This size plant, gorgeous, gorgeous peace lily that is so easy to take care of for so many people. And it was free, guys. Free out of charge. This size plant for sure is at least five years old. So somebody was taking care of this plant, you know, growing it and nurturing it. And then bam, decides to get rid of it. Like what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks gorgeous. Okay guys, so we are done with this reporting and I think I did such a good job. I mean, it wasn't that difficult at all because the roots were so clean and it was so healthy and I didn't, didn't need to go an extra mile and do something too crazy for it. As you can tell, it has really clean leaves, not a single dust on it. So maybe somebody was treating it from pests because it's really in a good condition and so, so shiny. So this might be one of the you know reasons why somebody get, decided to get rid of it but once again i really went through this plant so so carefully and i did not saw any single bug on it so i didn't saw any single bug or any leaf damage that bugs might have left so the real real reason will always remain a mystery which is a little bit sad but at the same time so mysterious you know but anywho what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spray it with neem oil tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i will water it because only today i was reporting it so i'm pretty sure i made some root damage so instead of working on a root rot i will wait a couple days and let those you know root scales if they have any kind of broken things my brain doesn't function anymore <laughs> Okay guys, I won't hold you any longer. This is it for today's video, but before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. Okay. Um, okay, so since in today's video I had my family, let me teach you how to say family in Russian and in Lithuanian. So if you want to say family in Russian, you need to say семья. Once again, семья. And if you want to say family in Lithuanian, you need to say шима. Once again, Shima. And this is it, guys. This is it. This is my newest houseplant rescue that I think really will go to the top, you know, of the list of all of my houseplant rescues because it looks so healthy. It is so beautiful and lush. And I'm just really happy that I had the honor to find this plant to rescue it and nurture and maybe bring it back to the second life because even though it looks healthy and happy, I hope it will stay that way and my new home conditions won't destroy it because sometimes it do, sometimes I do kill plants. So hopefully this one won't be one of those cases. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really not in the best shape today because I'm a bit hangover. Let's, let's be honest. Okay. Yesterday we had a couple glasses of wine with my boyfriend. So, okay. This is Sunday, so happy Sunday for you guys. You most likely will see it in the middle of a week. So I hope you're having a pretty good week so far. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always commenting and liking and liking my videos every single time. It brings the biggest smile on my face, you know, it warms my heart and it, I just really love to chat with you guys. So if you wanna see more plenty content, if you wanna see more houseplant rescues, please subscribe to this channel because this is where all of the houseplant rescues on the video on the internet are hiding. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys and until the next time. Bye.